Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. A very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Television evangelists who scam. Those fucking phony fucks who take advantage of so many people. Those scumbags who are so good at the con game that they have people in real need sending them their last dollar. Those shitbags who hold religion over these poor people's heads until they can shake them down for their last nickel. So, where are these phony jerk-offs right now when this country and their supporters need them? Have you heard of any of them doing anything with their millions and mansions and fancy cars and airplanes and yachts? No, of course not. They just want to pick your bank account to death under the guise of Jesus Christ and play off all your fears about going to heaven. Fucking con men, grifter shitbags. Where's Jim Baker? Oh, you know, he's the douchebag snake oil salesman who was just ordered by the government to stop selling his bullshit liquid that he claimed was a cure for the coronavirus. Can you imagine this scumbag? He served time in prison already. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. That's old news. And, and now he's back conning innocent and, I guess, ignorant people into giving him money every fucking week. This man of God was trying to sell a worthless liquid as a COVID-19 cure. Can you imagine? Hey, if it really worked, why not give it away to your flock, you shit neck? The issue isn't how low of a skunk he is. The issue is... Who are these fucking people who follow him blindly and give him their money? What the fuck? And where is Joel Osteen? Osteen, Eistein, we all scream for fucking ice cream. Whatever the fuck his name is. With his ridiculous expensive ministry building and his tens of millions of dollars and his $80 million mansion. Have you heard a peep out of this fucking piece of shit? Have you heard that he's giving food to the needy or helping to pay poor people's bills? Anybody? Bueller? And where's Creeflo Dollar? By the way, what kind of a name is Dollar? What the fuck? At least, at least the guy is honest enough to try to pry the last penny out of elderly, desperate people, so he names himself after money. You know what one of the things is that he says to his flock? I quote, the more money you give me, the better your chances of avoiding the devil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Jesus Christ's motto, too. Where's, where's Benny Hinn? You know, the guy who heals people on stage? I got a question. Why the fuck isn't he walking around the country and healing everyone with the coronavirus? You want your answer? I'll give you your answer now, Senator. Because these fucking TV evangelists are phony sons of bitches and Benny Hinn couldn't cure a fucking ham. Holy shit. And sadly, millions of people believe them, follow them, send them their money, and most of them can't afford to. How about John McTernan? This prick said God gave us Hurricane Sandy because of all the homosexuals. First of all, go fuck your neck. Second of all, my son is gay, so go fuck your neck again, you evil son of a bitch. And to all you fucking homophobes out there who would probably disown your own child if they told you they were gay, go fuck yourself. I never understood this whole TV evangelistic thing. Since I was a kid, I, I turned the channels and I see these guys and I think if I'm a kid and I could tell that they are fucking circus freaks, then why can't the adults who are following them see it too? I used to watch uh, Reverend Ike. I think I think it was Reverend Ike. He he would have a, a a cane made of gold and shoes made of gold and a, a gold suit with a gold pocket watch and gold teeth and he would ask for money. And I would be like, "Fuck that. You send me money." And here I am all these years later and people are still fanatical followers of these guys and guys like them. They they never saw the documentaries that showed how fake they were. They never saw the news reports that showed them getting caught for scamming or maybe maybe they did and these poor souls are just so unbelievably dumb or hopeful or 
I don't even know what it is that they just believe in the farce. I don't know. But I do know that these scumbag fakers who use religion to fool and steal from people better go straight to hell. If there is one. Television evangelists who scam, that's what ticks me off.